Well, do you remember when you learned to drive? For most of us, it was a really big deal. But today, not so much. There's a trend, though, where Americans are getting their driver's licenses much later in life, and many are opting not to drive at all. Chief Transportation Correspondent Mekay Beeler tells us tonight why many of today's young adults are choosing to be car-free. Probably everyone, every young person has some arm's length connection to someone who's had a tragic story of someone being in a, in a serious car accident or even with a fatality. It is unsettling and gets stuck not only in your mind but also in your body. Getting your driver's license has long been associated with coming of age. And for most of us it means just one thing, freedom. But you know for today's young drivers, well for some reason driving seems to have lost it's appeal. The tide has turned. Today's young adults don't see cars in the same way their parents did. Getting licensed is no longer a key life milestone. In fact, many are pumping the brakes. Federal Highway Administration stats show only 25% of 16-year-olds got their licenses in 2021. Compare that to 46% in 1983. A contributing culprit? the unwanted passenger on board. Anxiety is riding shotgun. Anxiety is a very real thing and it stands in the way of a lot of people being comfortable on the road. Dr. Sharice Johnson is a licensed clinical mental health counselor in South Park. She sees a correlation between anxiety and the increasing lack of interest in getting behind the wheel. And it's not just teens. Millennials and Gen Zers are postponing landmark events like learning to drive to later in life or choosing to forego it altogether. This in part due to scary statistics and the availability of less stressful transportation like Uber, scooters, and e-bikes. Forrest Fitch has a driver's license, but he doesn't use it. In fact, he is car free. So I live here, I work here. Um, everything's pretty much walking distance, so I don't know why I need a car. <laughs> Forrest enjoys the amenities of Uptown, readily available in the city center with no need for hectic highways. And that suits him just fine. After all, driving isn't for the faint of heart. According to the World Health Organization, car accidents are annually responsible for about 1.3 million deaths worldwide. U.S. road crash statistics report the U.S. traffic fatality rate is 12.4 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants. And in Mecklenburg County alone, the North Carolina Department of Transportation recorded 138 people killed in crashes in 2021. No wonder there's so much anxiety in and around our streets. It's scary out there. With the uptick in road rage fueling aggressive, angry drivers, annoy or cut a driver off, you run the risk of getting shot. Members of Gen C admit they haven't gotten licensed because they are afraid of getting into accidents or of driving itself. Dr. Johnson says this anxiety has significantly increased since the pandemic. We were inside, we did not have to be out in the street. There weren't a lot of people on the roads. And now all of a sudden we've ramped up into this new pace that is overwhelming and makes us anxious. If anxiety isn't enough to discourage driving, the financial burden of owning a car is. It's just too expensive to have a car these days. So it's mostly the cost. I mean, it's just too expensive, honestly. it's. Yeah, insurance, car payment, it's not worth it. Other millennials like Crystal LaProd own a car, but use it sparingly, opting for two wheels over four when feasible. It's her way of choosing environmentally friendly transportation. Take it to doctor's appointments. Uh, I've got a little carrier for my dogs too, so if I need to take them anywhere further than walking distance. Added benefits of ditching the car, no stress of finding a parking space or paying for it. It's much cheaper than driving a car. Last time I had a car, it was about a year and a half ago. Um, that was before I lived here and I lived in the suburbs, so kind of needed a car then, but living uptown, I don't really need a car. And when inclement weather prohibits scooters and e-bikes, Forrest says there's always Uber. A 2019 poll reveals half of all ride-sharing users are ages 18 to 29, so Forrest fits right in. These days, consumers can access not just Ubers, but 
practically every need online at their fingertips. Millennials and Gen Zers have been described as experts at exercising their thumbs more than their legs. While a lot of factors are at play, it is anxiety, the Insurance Information Institute reports, as a top reason for not driving. Yes, a lot of things are outside of our control, but when it comes to driving and anxiety, it is manageable, there is help. A few things that you can do, one for example is give yourself more time than necessary so that you feel like you can go at your own pace. If you find that you are anxious while you're driving, try some deep breathing exercises. Or three, find another route. You don't have to go on the busiest route. Find a back way where there's a slower pace where you can be comfortable and my favorite, listen to music that you enjoy so that there's something soothing while you drive. I'm thinking about getting my own scooter. Feel less anxiety on the scooter. In Uptown Charlotte, May K. Beeler, Queen City News. And whatever mode of transportation you prefer, be aware of distracted drivers around you. Now, a 2021 study done by AAA found 37% of drivers talk on their phone and nearly 40% drive while texting and sending emails.